sometimes we find ourselves paying attention to the most relaxing thing. And sometimes we find ourselves adding numbers, which are numbered nicely. And one wonders sometimes why you do that. So you can sit there in that chair here, listening with your subconscious mind while your conscious mind remains very relaxed and peaceful. You can relax peacefully while you try to be aware of the exact meaning of the words you hear and of all the changes that occur there in your thoughts, sensations or awareness as I speak here. Or you can forget about trying to make all the unnecessary effort to pay close attention to everything that happens because you can remember that you can forget so easily and with forgetting certain things you can remember other things remembering what you need to remember and forgetting what you can't forget it does not matter if you forget. You need not remember. Your subconscious mind remembers everything that you need to know. And you can let your subconscious mind listen and remember while your conscious mind sleeps and forgets. All you need, need to know and to do is remember that your memory is for getting things that you thought you had forgotten and you can forget about trying to make the effort to pay close attention to everything that happens or does not happen in your experience as you listen to me and also to your own thoughts or to your sensations that change over time or stay the same in an arm or an ear do they say in one ear out over there and your legs or fingers and what about the thoughts, the variety of images that speak to your mind's eye as I speak to your mind to remind you that what you speak to yourself speaks for itself as you try to search and find that thing. It may seem to be one thing but turn out to be another because two and two are four but two can also mean also and no two are alike it all belongs to you and to your own ability to relax those two ears too and to begin to know what you really don't know. What means yes and what means no. Here. So you may try to guess where you're going. To go or not to go. You don't know. And there is no real way to know. How to let go while holding on. Or to recognize that there is nothing you need to try to know, to do or not to do, because everything you do allows you to recognize that you already know that. I can say so many different things, and there is no need for you to make the effort it takes to try to make the effort to pay close attention to each thing I say or don't say 
because there was a time when the effort was to train the mind to stay on track. It was not worth the trip that led the mind back that time. Peaceful calm awareness of effortless letting go, getting low and knowing that you don't need to try to hear or even understand what I might say later on here today because the conscious mind can go anywhere it wishes while I continue to talk and your own conscious mind continues to hear that way you overhear a conversation or a radio station while driving you don't even do anything at all it all belongs to you as you begin to hear the way you do here and now with eyes closed comfortable that voice or sound in the background of the mind as you listen to that show show that too and it showed you how to notice relaxed drifting glow of a slow sound show of quiet canvas and thoughts like dreams following themselves as I spoke turning spokes in wheel turning this way and that while we'll be drifting effortlessly down a path into a quiet still place where words can remind your mind of those things needed for you other times we drift a bit as we think about all the things that are parallel in the universe and all the things which cross across the horizons of those parallel things but we always find ourselves slowing down for a stop sign and drifting and floating below the threshold of our consciousness When we feel ourselves let go of those parallel line thoughts and just focus on how drifting seems effortless in a timeless drifting down motion which we find many times to be relaxing 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 deeper and deeper and as you we add three plus three three plus the horizon of relaxation in a drifting feeling and we float along to the solution which relaxes us deeper into the concepts that we were now examining because 4 plus 4 is forethought to forego consciousness and drifting happens when we now calculate all of the four going thoughts in the parallel sphere of our own reality letting go and relaxing deeper and deeper hasn't it always been that way as you look at things in a different light of course you can see now there's always a different way and there always has been it's just that sometimes it's the same way that you already know and as you weigh that up it can be quite relaxing your mind to find the way down on the other
other hand, one plus one is two of a kind. And a straight flush down the river, rowing a boat on a relaxing day, and getting very tired of rowing. And rows and rows of hay in a field, having been bailed by a mail that sails down the same river, and lets go of the drifting current currently relaxing in the warm sunshine, relaxing in a chair there, like walking down the stairs, deeper and deeper, and deeper. And as you continue to relax deeper, and deeper because you've accepted my suggestion your mind is at peace just at peace relax and calm and you are so comfortable and as you breathe easily and gently you feel yourself relaxing more and more and as your mind becomes calm, calm like a lake without a ripple, so calm and more and more at ease as you are now relaxed there, focusing on your body. And as you go from your head to your toes, thinking about your body, and your body becomes more and more relaxed. That's right. Just imagining your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, relaxing. I wonder how that feels. Thinking about how your body feels. Imagining your body as you move slowly, scanning your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And you come to the part of your body where your tummy is. And your esophagus is. And you just focus some warm energy in these areas. And just notice some sensations there as that happens that's right and you picture a gleaming ball of light a ball of warm energy seeping through your throat your esophagus and your tummy this amazing glow relaxes you deeper and deeper inside and you know that if you ever are in a situation where you have heartburn or acid reflux, you just picture this glowing ball of energy easing the acid reflux or heartburn, completely eliminating it. This gleaming ball of light now eases those sensations and relaxes your organs but it also relaxes you and any anxiety you may have is soothed by the glowing ball of light as your fears of anxiety diminish you realize that you are completely relaxed you are now able to feel at ease at all times. You do everything in your power to ease that heartburn by carefully watching what you eat. And you get to know your body very well because you pay attention. And perhaps you realize that certain foods trigger 
acid reflux or heartburn and you watch what you eat and avoid the trigger foods and you listen to your body and pay attention and you're able to easily control the heartburn or reflux and you take your time when you eat because you enjoy eating food slowly so now just picture yourself somewhere in a situation where you may have had heartburn or acid reflux and just imagine the warm glowing ball of light relaxing your entire body eliminating all pain and anxiety now just imagine that gleaming ball of light relaxing your esophagus and your tummy and this ball of light has an immediate effect on you this soothing light completely eliminates those sensations you are completely relaxed and at ease and you feel really good your body is relaxed and nothing can irritate it imagine living your life without those sensations of acid reflux or heartburn you no longer have to worry about when it might act up because you know that you have the ability to control it that's right you have the ability to control it you have the ability to control your heartburn and that feels wonderful so just imagine yourself sometime in the future at this point in the future a few months from now you very rarely have to deal with acid reflux because you have learned how to take control over it and you're getting better and better day by day everything you have learned up to now was practice first and you have realized over time that you have complete control and you are proud of yourself so just picture yourself a year from now imagine that a year from now you have completely eliminated those sensations of acid reflux or heartburn from your life that's right you are a relaxed person certain foods no longer trigger those sensations and you are able to live a life live a life without those old sensations you are able to eat whatever you want without any painful sensations and you have completely eliminated that heartburn or acid reflux and you feel healthier and stronger you feel confident and capable of accomplishing any goal you set your mind to and most of all you no longer have to deal with the old sensations because you are confident that you can control it in any situation and that feels great and as you continue to relax you realize that everything is going to be just fine and as you are so relaxed there making those changes at a deeper level when you're ready I want you to bring all the energy back into your body bring your body back to the room with all the energy flowing going back to full awareness feeling really good as you make those changes at a deeper level level only opening your eyes as that happens